know. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. It has been so, so long since I've stood in front of the camera and filmed an intro for you guys here on my YouTube channel, but I have to say it feels so, so good to be back. I took a lot of time off from YouTube to kind of reflect, regroup, and to figure out what it is that I want my channel to be, kind of find that creative flow again. So I'm really excited to be back finally sitting down filming this video for you guys because it has definitely been too too long since I've posted a video here on my channel. I had to come back on my channel with something I haven't seen before and I have been seeing this square geometric design a lot especially in nail art and I just kept thinking to myself how cool would that look on a cup. I had to figure out how to get this square geometric design on a cup. And so here she is, and I hope you guys absolutely love her. I know she's totally different than anything I've personally ever seen on a cup. Hopefully you guys love it and it inspires you to look outside of your comfort zone and create something that maybe you wouldn't ever think of creating before. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's jump in today's video. I hope you guys are excited for today's video and I cannot wait to begin posting again regularly here on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's jump into today's tutorial. What I'm gonna do is prep the base of my cup using this satin ballet slipper color from Krylon. The cup I am using is a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and as you can see, it already is prepped. These cups come delivered to you prepped. However, I wanted to go over it with a pink color to match my glitter color. This step is completely up to you depending on the color glitter and the type of glitter that you're using. I always like to paint the base of my cups to match the glitter, especially if I'm using a translucent type of glitter, which I am going to be doing today. So I'm going to just put a nice even coat of that spray paint all over the base of my cup, let it fully dry. Then we're going to go ahead and apply the glitter onto this cup. The two glitters that I'm going to be using for today's video is Petal Pink and Azalea. Both of these colors you can find on the website, which will be linked in the description down below. I am going to be whipping up some facet for this step. So I'm going to be taking part A and B, equal parts, mixing it together. And you can find this resin at countercultureDIY.com. It is one of my most favorite resins to use. I'm going to mix up my resin really well and then I'm going to be adding petal pink inside of this resin and we're going to spread that all over the base of my cup. To ensure that I have a really good mixture, I do like to pour my first mixture of resin into a second clean medicine cup just so that any resin that may be stuck at the bottom that is not fully mixed in will now be at the top and we can go ahead and mix that for an additional minute to make sure it is really mixed in and ready to go. Once I am fully done mixing up my resin, I'm going to put in that petal pink uh, glitter inside of my resin. Now I am eyeballing this part, so depending on what type of glitter you are using, you may need less scoops or more scoops than what I am putting in. This is a super ultra micro fine translucent glitter, so I do need to go in with a lot more scoops than you would normally go in with if you are using a bigger chunkier glitter. Uh, I want to have full coverage on my cup or as much coverage as I can with this fine glitter, so you can see I'm adding a few more scoops in there until I am happy with how opaque my resin is. You have to work fast with this fast set because you have about 15 minutes or a little bit less than that depending on how hot your workstation is to work with this resin. So make sure you're working fast if you're going to be using fast set um, and if you are not comfortable with working fast then you may want to use a regular resin like Artist Resin from CCDIY. Next thing I'm going to do is just put this mixture all over the base of my cup and evenly spread it out. Again, you want to make sure that you're getting a nice even coverage of this glitter mixture on the base of your cup. If you do not do that, then you will have some patchiness. Because I'm going over with Azalea, which is another chunky mix, I'm not too, too worried with the amount of coverage that I have. I really am just going in with this petal pink for a base glitter layer. And then I'm going to be going over with Azalea, which will be 
filling in any patchiness that um, we may see on the base of my cup. If you are not going to be going in with a chunky base, then you do want to make sure that you go in with really full coverage on this first layer. And if you have a little bit of patchiness, don't worry. After this is cured, you can go in with the second layer, mix up the same exact thing you did before, add a second layer, and you should be good to go. Because I'm going in with the second color azalea, which is a chunky mix, I am going to go straight in on top of this wet resin. So I'm going to put a piece of paper under my spinning cup and I'm going to take that color azalea and just lightly sprinkle it all over the base of my cup from afar. You can see just how far my hand is from the cup while I sprinkle it down and let it fall on top of the cup. This part is completely up to you depending on how much coverage you want or do not want with your chunky glitter. Once I'm satisfied with the way the glitter looks, I'm gonna go ahead and just let it fully cure and spin. For fast set resin, it will be cured to the touch in two hours and fully cured within 24. Here's a little clip of what the cup looks like as it is just spinning right after I sprinkled the glitter. Here's what it looks like after it has just been fully cured. After that, you wanna go ahead and cover that with another layer of resin over to seal everything in. Once the resin is fully cured, you've applied your top layer of resin, you can then begin to cut out your vinyl. And I am going to show you guys and talk to you guys a little bit more about how I cut my vinyl, the size I cut my vinyl in, and all that stuff in the next scene. So what I did to get the squares is I just used Cricut Design Space and I went inside of their images folder and I just inserted a bunch of squares and framed squares inside of Cricut Design Space. I did random sizes for all of them and cut out some in white vinyl, some in the like mosaic silver vinyl, and then I cut out some other pieces in the um, opal pinky yellow shifty vinyl. Um, all this vinyl that I am using in this video you can find in my craft source. That's where I get all of my vinyl from. So you can check them out. I will have a link to their website in my description down below. When I was creating the design for this cup, I knew that I wanted the white vinyl to be the biggest portion of my cup. So I wanted the squares for my white vinyl to be the bigger frames. And I wanted the silver holographic mosaic vinyl to be the accent pieces as well as the opal vinyl to also be the accent pieces. So I will be laying down the white squares first and then I'll be using the mosaic silver holographic vinyl and the opal vinyl as as accent pieces. Right now I'm just weeding out all of my square designs, the frames, the ones I'm going to be keeping solid, the frames that I want to use. Um, and this part was completely freestyled. I didn't really have uh, an idea of where I wanted the squares to go at this point. I was just kind of going um, at it sporadically and how I felt and how it looked at that moment. So you want to weed out all of your squares and determine the sizes of your squares, what pieces you want to be solid, what pieces you want to stay as the frame. I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the white and silver holographic vinyl with this pink opal and I'm going to just weed it out and again leave the solid squares that I want to keep and leave the frames that I want to keep. With this tutorial, with this video, I wasn't really sure in what way it was going to go. This was an idea that I had based off of a few pictures that I had seen on some nails that I thought would be really cool to use on a cup. So I really apologize if the instructions or the directions aren't clear, but honestly, at the time I was doing this cup, it was for fun, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a success or a fail. So 
at this point if you are thinking about recreating this cup literally this is such a freestyle fun design you can do anything you want to do place your squares down wherever you want to place them um, i placed my white squares down first and then i played around with the placement of the holographic squares and the opal vinyl squares there's really nothing special um, to the instructions of this cup just have fun put your design where you want to put it and at the end of the day i think this cup turned out pretty pretty cool so i do hope that you like it and i hope that if you decide to recreate this cup you have a lot of fun with it and it pushes you outside of your comfort zone and you just come up and create something super super cool so we're gonna just move on with this tutorial as you can see i'm just placing down my squares randomly there isn't really any rhyme or reason as to why or how i'm placing them down um once i finish putting down the um, white frames that I wanted to put down the white squares I started to go in with the silver again completely freestyled this design just kind of eyeballed where I wanted the squares to go and placed them down where I saw fit so yeah um, just continue to do that and when you are happy with how it looks that's it all you need to do is resin and you're good to go Once I really started to fill up the cup with these frames, I decided to start going in with the solid squares. So I did go in with some of the solid holographic squares and I'm thinking about layering. So I went ahead and layered one of the holographic squares on top of a solid white square to place it in the middle of one of the bigger squares. And I know I keep saying square square, but this is a whole cyber square cup. So you can see I already layered the vinyl and placed it in the middle of that bigger framed white square. If I continue to do this voiceover uh, over this tutorial, I'm literally just gonna continue to say square square a hundred million times. So I'm just gonna let this video ride on out so you can see how I put down all of the frames and all of the squares and you can see for yourself how it was done and then we will move on to the final steps of this cup as soon as I'm done laying down all of these squares. even made smaller by hand cutting them you can see how i did that with the pink opal vinyl um so you can also do that if you feel like there are some squares that you didn't make small enough i went ahead and did that with a few of these pink um opal vinyls because i felt like i didn't have enough of them on the cup so yeah i'm just going in and layering hand cutting and layering so once I was done laying down all of my vinyl squares and frames, I went ahead and put it back on the turner so we can let that sit and really adhere to the cup. And then I'm going to go and seal all of that vinyl in with Countercultures Quick Coat. This Quick Coat is really going to allow that 
vinyl to be sealed in before our resin layer and then once the quick coat is fully dry which takes about a half an hour we can go in and apply our final coats of resin and that tutorial i hope you really enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this cup will you be recreating it for yourself or would you totally stay away from this design all around i'm super interested to hear your guys thoughts so definitely leave the comment sections with all of your thoughts i'm super excited to be back and sharing this video with you guys so stay tuned for all of our future videos you can find in the description down below the links to everything that was used in this video that is it for today's tutorial. I will see you guys next time. Bye.